Let's go ahead and move on. We'll talk about McCormick and Pennsylvania. Another Lot one that's still too close still to call. Still too close to call. So let's go ahead and put this up there on the screen. We always go with local news whenever we can. GoErie.com. Love those guys. <laughs> David McCormick suing over counting mail ballots in the Pennsylvania Senate race. So this is the dispatch from Harrisonburg, PA. The campaign of McCormick, who is obviously you know very close and near run recount territory or, or in recount territory in the r race with Dr. Oz, is suing and asking the state's Commonwealth Court to require counties to promptly count mail-in ballots that lack a required handwritten date on the return envelope. This is a direct return, Crystal, back to 2020, back when there was a lot of consternation amongst senators who were not from Pennsylvania about Pennsylvania election law, mm -hmm. whether such ballots in them should be counted. And it's kind of a significant, uh, I would say, it is the the most legitimate, and I say that in quotes, part of the high IQ Stop the Steal movement. They're like, well, these ballots shouldn't have been counted, all of this. And so the Pennsylvania GOP has made it really one of the cornerstones of, they're like, no, we are not gonna be allowing these uh, ballots to be counted. Now McCormick, because he's in the fight of his life, He's like, I don't care. You know, now it's good, even though I still think the election was stolen for this very reason. You're going to go ahead and riddle me that one. But now the Pennsylvania GOP and the RNC are moving against David McCormick for this move. Let's put this up there on the screen because this is pretty important. The RNC is actually intervening against McCormick's campaign by saying that they are they are actually filing and insisting to make sure that these types of ballots are not counted, and they're doing that alongside the Pennsylvania GOP, both condemning the move. I don't know how much legal ground they actually have, given that this is going to uh, rely on the campaign lawsuit, and it ultimately is a decision from the third U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. But in the meantime, those ballots are being set Aside, so let's put this up there from Steve Kornacki. The Pennsylvania Secretary of State is telling counties you should count mail in ballots that were signed but not dated and set them aside for the time being pending the results of the litigation. But I do think, you know, at the top of the line, Crystal, we don't know necessarily if these ballots will even come in for David McCormick. Because right. I think this is a sign of desperation, which is that, look, with the current ones and well, what, you know, all the caveats, we still don't know, recount, et cetera, Oz is still basically up by about 1,000 votes. Yeah. And that's where things stand right, right. now. Right. Um, the big blow for McCormick, who uh, overwhelmingly dominated the yeah. mail-in vote, right. um, but didn't do as well on election day, was when some of the late election day ballots were counted in his home turf in Allegheny County, and they actually boosted Oz by, you know, a, an even a little bit. And he was hoping that that batch of ballots would help to narrow the mm -hmm. gap and then put him in play with these remaining mail-in ballots and provisional ballots and all those sorts of things. So it's pretty interesting. Um, you know, the court has already ruled that these type of undated ballots should be counted. So if they're consistent with what they've ruled in the past, you would think that McCormick would win on the legal merits. But as you're pointing out, the bigger question here is if there are enough to actually catch him up to Oz, it's looking less likely that that will ultimately yeah. be the case here. The other thing that's interesting in this race is Trump was urging Oz, who was, of course, the candidate that he backed, to just go ahead and declare victory. <laughs> right. And he didn't do that. McCormick hasn't done that. Good. Um, yeah, yeah, so good. they're actually, you know, I mean, this is legitimate. If you have a legal challenge, right. you, can, you can work that through with the courts. Clearly, the RNC has decided to back the, uh, you know, Oz campaign on, on their side of this issue. But, uh, you know, working out through the courts, that's the way that this is supposed to work in a democracy. There's no like nefarious wrongdoing here, just question over interpretation of the ballots. As I said, I think the courts probably, based on what they've ruled in the past, will fall on the side of McCormick, but we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, let's see how it goes. And uh, I will say it at this, I didn't think I'd praise these gentlemen, but thank you uh, for not doing that <laughs> and for not inflicting a wound upon the country to once again drag them through some st stolen election nonsense, which continues to plague us, although was rejected, thankfully, on primary day in the state of Georgia. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. 
That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.